Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trades. Today, we're gonna to be building the Chicago Northwestern E8 locomotive. And this is what it looks like here. And make sure you save plenty of room on the track behind it, because we will be doing the passenger cars for this train in a future video. So let's get right into the build. So we're going to start off on the front end of this one and take out some dark prismarine blocks. Wherever the front's going to be, we're going to do a 3x3 three three of dark prismarine in the center. Then take out a dark oak stair for the front coupler, turn around, and we're going to stack it up to this middle center block. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate, then open a fence gate above each rail. Then we're going to put an end rod here and one on this side. On the top middle, we're going to put three birch signs coming across. Then on the side of it, a column of three green stained glass panes coming up. And three on this side. Behind the stained glass panes on the bottom of each side, an upside down backward facing dark prismarine stair. Then we're going to come one block behind where the stairs are with a dark oak fence gate. And we're going to put a sideways fence gate on each rail. So they're one block behind the stairs. Then above each stair on either side, we're going to put another dark prismarine block and another upside down backward facing stair on the backs of those. Then on the top of each side, two dark prismarine blocks and then a third upside down backward facing stair on each side. So it looks like this. Then we're going to put two birch signs here and two over on this side here. Now we're gonna do the front truck. So come on bottom, right behind these fence gates, and we're gonna put a netherite wheel on each rail. In the center, a black stone brick block and a black stone brick slab. Then two fence gates in the middle, then a black stone brick block and a slab. Then two fence gates again, then a black stone brick block and a slab. Then take out another right for the other wheels. Put one here and one here. And same thing on this side over here. So it looks like this. Then we're gonna come to the back of this truck and we're gonna put a sideways fence gate on each of these back corners. Then we're gonna take deep slate tile stairs, go this way, put two here, two here. Move to this middle wheel, two here and two here. Then turn around on this front wheel, do two going this way here and here, and then two going this way here and here. On the centers of all four of these, we're gonna put two deep slate tile slabs on each one. Just like this. Then come on the side center of it and put a fence gate here and here. And same thing on this side, one here and one here. Then we'll go through and put a hopper on the side of all six of these wheels. And then finally, we're gonna crouch and we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all three hoppers. And then same thing on this side, a wither skeleton skull on the side of all three of these hoppers here. Then we're gonna come stand on the top of the rear of this and crouch and we're gonna skip one block back of it so there's a gap of space and put three sideways anvils in the middle and another brick fence on either side of the anvils for the air tank. Then take black stone brick block on the second layer, start at the very front and we're gonna go three wide in the middle with it and we're gonna bring it back till it's over the top of these anvils here. Just like that. Now come right behind the anvils on bottom and we're gonna go three wide in the middle with black stone brick block. And we're gonna extend that back. And we're gonna make it nine blocks long. So a three by nine of black stone brick block. Then we're gonna take black stone brick slab on the upper hip box on the side of this section and do a full line of slabs right here. And we'll do the th same thing over here, a full line of slabs over here. Then on the next layer, on the front of this, We'll go back to black stone brick block, 
go five wide here, and then five wide at the back. Then in here, we'll fill the top middle three of this with black stone brick block, leaving the outer edges open. Then take black stone brick stair, and right here, we're gonna put two stairs facing each other, and at the back, two stairs facing each other. Then three black stone brick blocks on this middle. Repeat it over here. So two black stone brick stairs facing each other here, two facing each other here. Then on the side middle, three black stone brick blocks. Then we're gonna put an upside down stair facing forward here and here. And then we'll come to the back of this. And on the middle three on bottom here, we'll put three sideways anvils with another brick fence on either side. Then above each fence, an upside down backward facing stair and three black stone brick blocks on this top middle. Now, come on bottom, right behind this, and we're gonna put a sideways dark oak fence gate on each rail. Then on the next block back in the middle, a black stone brick block and a slab. Then two fence gates, then a black stone brick block and a slab, then another two fence gates, and then a black stone brick block and a slab. Take out another right for the wheels, put one here, here, and here, and then same thing on this side. Then we'll put a fence gate on each of these back corners. Then take out deep slate tile stairs, put two here, two here going this way, then two here, and two here. Then turn around and go two here going this way, two here, then two here, two over here. Then we're gonna put two deep slate tile slabs on each side here and here, and two slabs here and two here. Then go through and we're gonna put a hopper on the side of all six of the wheels here. Then we'll go ahead and crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And then same thing on this side, one on all three of these hoppers here. Then we're going to come up top with black stone brick block again. And start up here on this top middle and we're going to go three wide with it in the center and we're going to bring it down to the back of this until it's right here. Then take a dark oak stair for the rear coupler and we'll turn around and stack it up to this middle top block. Under it we're going to put a sideways dark oak fence gate. And then on the side of the coupler here, we're gonna put an end rod on the side right here, and one on this side. Then we're gonna crouch right here and put a sideways fence gate on each side, and then go ahead and open those fence gates. Then we'll come on the third layer at the very front, and we're gonna fill this whole top middle three with black stone brick block and we're gonna bring it all the way down to the back of the locomotive here. And then at the very back here, we stop here and we're gonna put three iron trap doors on this top edge. Now we're gonna come on the side of this truck and put a deep slate tile slab above all three hoppers. Then three fence gates here, and three here. We also need one on the middle here and here. So it looks like this, and then we need to repeat it on the other side. So come over here, fence gate here and here, then three here, three here. Then a single deep slate tile slab on all three hoppers. Then we need to do the front truck, so come up here, and we'll do a slab on all three hoppers, three fence gates here and here. Then come to this side and do the same thing. Slab on all three hoppers, three fence gates here, three here. Then we're going to go through and above the back in the front wheel, we put a skeleton skull and a dark oak fence above the middle wheel. Copy it on this side, so a skeleton skull here and here and a fence on the middle wheel. And then of course we repeat it at the back truck. Do that same thing. And one more corner to go. 
skeleton skull above the back wheel, the front wheel, fence above the middle wheel. Then we'll come stand on top and crouch. And we're gonna put a sideways end rod here and here. And then one here and one here. And then repeat that at the front. So come up here and crouch. And we put an end rod here and here. Then here and here. Then we're gonna detail the fuel tank area next. And for that, we're gonna take out a smooth quartz slab. And we're going to change this middle block here to a slab on the upper hitbox. Then we're going to put a mangrove button here and one on the back here. Then on the front of the fuel tank, put a skeleton skull here. Copy it on this side. So we're going to change this middle block to a smooth quartz slab. Then we're going to put a mangrove button here, one at the back, and a skeleton skull on the front here. Then next, we're going to take out our smooth cord slab again and put another slab above this one on each side. Then we'll go to dark prismarine slabs in front, start at the front and do this whole top outside edge with dark prismarine slabs and then go all the way to the back, right here. Then on this side, start at the back here, come up to this smooth cord slab and then start again on the other side and come all the way to the front. And now the base is done. Now come on top of the front and put a redstone block in the center with a yellow concrete on either side. Then three yellow above it. Then two yellow stained glass panes on the outer edges of each side. Then on the top middle a yellow concrete and a forward facing oak stair on either side of that. Then on each outer edge behind this we'll do two yellow concrete. And then a forward facing oak stair on the top of each side here and here. Three yellow concrete across this middle. Then we're going to come on the outer edges behind it and do a column of three yellow concrete on each side. And then come across the top here. Then we're going to come on this middle right here, do a yellow stained glass pane and a cyan stained glass pane on either side of it. Then we're going to come on the bottom outside edge behind this nose and we're going to do four yellow concrete coming back and make it three blocks tall. And then same thing on this side, a four by three. Then up here, we're going to put two cyan stained glass blocks, a yellow concrete, two stained glass blocks. Then two cyan stained glass panes on either side behind it, and at the back on each side, a dark prismarine block. Then a white stained glass pane here, and here to be mirrors. And if you want this nose to be a bit more three-dimensional, we can grab an oak trapdoor and do a T-shape on top of the nose here. Then we're going to come behind this, and on the bottom, we're going to put two upside-down, outward-facing smooth cord stairs in a column. And then two on this side. Above that, we're going to put a door here, and a door here. Then behind that, on either side, we'll do a column of three yellow concrete and then a dark prismarine block on the top of each side. On either side of this door, we're going to put three iron bars for the handrails. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Put three iron bars on either side of this door. And actually, we'll come underneath and extend each iron bar down by one. And do the same thing over here. So one here and one here. Now we'll start from the back end, so come back here, and we're going to put a door on the middle of this block, then two dark prismarine on either side of it, and then above it, we're going to do a three by three of dark prismarine blocks. Then on this outer edge, we're going to put a column of four upside down, backward facing dark prismarine stairs, and four on this side here. Make sure they're all upside down. Then, two deep slate tile walls on either side of the door, three across the top above it. Then, we're going to come up front, and on each of these outer edges, we're going to start up here with yellow concrete, and we're going to bring it down, stopping before this smooth quartz slab on either side. Then, right here, we're going to put an upside down, outward facing smooth quartz stair on either side, and then put a door above each of those stairs. 
Then behind this, we do a layer of yellow concrete all the way to the back on either side here. Next, we're going to do another full layer of yellow concrete. So do yellow concrete up to this door and then all the way across here. And then same thing on this side, all the way across here and all the way across here. The next layer has windows on it. So for this layer, we're going to start at the very front up here. And we're going to do a single yellow concrete on each side, then a cyan stained glass block. Behind that, we do five yellow concrete on each side and another stained glass block. Then two yellow concrete here and here. Then two yellow concrete here and here. Then another stained glass block. Then behind that, we're going to do six yellow concrete coming back on each side. Then another stained glass block and fill the rest with yellow concrete. Then the next layer has a vent running all the way across it and for that we're going to use stone brick walls. And we're going to start on the front up here and just bring it all the way across the top to the very back. And then same thing on this side, a full row of stone brick walls up here on this side. Just like that. Now come on top of the front above these windows right here and go three wide in the middle with dark prismarine block. And we're going to fill this whole top in three blocks wide and bring that all the way down to the back of the locomotive. right to the very back here and then we're gonna grab dark prismarine stair again and we're gonna start on the very back and on this top outside edge we're gonna do a full row of outward facing stairs across here and bring that right up to the front right here then do the same thing here start right here and a full row of dark prismarine stairs facing outward on this side of the top and bring it right to the back then we'll take out iron bars and we're going to come on this side door here and put three iron bars on either side of this door. Do the same thing on this side, three iron bars on either side of the door here and here. Now we're going to take out an oak sign on the side and we're going to come behind this first window one block back, put a sign here with 5027, then another sign with dash A. Hit both of these with green dye and a glow ink sack each. Then we have to copy it on this side, so come over here. Right here, an oak sign with 5027. Another sign with dash A. Then hit them both with green dye and a glow ink sack each. Then we're going to take out a warp sign to represent the lettering. And we're going to come down right here. We're going to put two warp signs on bottom. Then we're going to skip a block over and we're going to do three signs. Then we'll come back right here. We'll do one sign here, skip a block back, and a row of four signs. And that represents the lettering since it won't fit in the correct space if we use banners. Then we're going to repeat over here. So right over here we're going to do four signs right here skip a block and one sign. Then two signs right here, skip a block and three signs. Then we're going to take a dark oak fence gate on the bottom of the back and we're going to put one right here. Come to this side and put one right here. Then we're going to come up to the front of the locomotive and work on detailing the front end. Up here we're going to put a dark oak sign on this redstone block and we're going to type Chicago Northwestern. Then hit that with white dye and a glow ink sack. Above it, two glow item frames with frog lights. Then we're going to put a birch sign here and here. Then we're going to move down to the back end and detail the back. Back here, we're going to put a glow item frame with a frog light in the middle. And then on either side of the top up here, a stone button. 
Then on this left hand side, we're going to put a column of four warped fence gates for a ladder. Now we're going to come on top of the back and start detailing the roof. So up here, on the third block from the back on the left hand side, a zombie head and a flower pot in front of it. Over here, a 2x2 two two of warp trap doors, then three across right here. Then skip a block forward, and we're going to do a 3x3 three three of dark prismarine slabs. Then a slab on either side and a deep slate tile slab in the center. Then we're going to skip one block forward and do two connected plus shapes of dark prismarine slabs for the fans. Knock out the center of each one, put in bedrock and oak trap doors. In front of that, we need to leave three empty blocks of space, and on the fourth block out, another two connected plus shapes of dark prismarine slabs, then knock out the centers on each one, put in bedrock and oak trap doors. Skip a block forward from this, deep slate tile slab on the middle, dark prismarine on either side, then a three by three of dark prismarine slabs, then a green candle in this corner. On the front metal, open a fence gate and a sideways one behind it for the horn. Now we're going to do the interior and we're going to come inside through the back door. One block behind the door, we're going to put three polished deep slate slabs. Behind that, three wide with polished deep slate block. And we're going to fill in this whole bottom middle with polished deep slate and bring that all the way up to the front. Then once we've filled in here, we can switch and we'll take out waxed oxidized cut copper slabs, do three across the doorway, three behind it. Then we're going to fill in at that same level all in front of it with the slabs to make the floor of the cap. We'll do double slabs under the windshield here. Then in the middle, a netherite block with two levers. Then we're going to turn around and put a stair here and here for the seats. On this back middle, we'll do a column of slabs right here and put a warp door on either side. Then we'll come back into this compartment. We're going to put a polished deep slate stair on either side and then three netherite and a column right here. Next, we'll do the first prime mover, so skip one block back and do five anvils in the middle. Above it, we're going to put five netherite blocks. Then we're going to go through and put a stone button on all five of these netherite blocks. And same thing on this side, a stone button on all of this side. Then above these, we'll do another five anvils. Then behind this, we're going to crouch and put two sideways end rods right here. Then a two by two with smooth stone block. Up here, we're going to put a brewing stand and then a hopper. Then we'll do the second prime mover, so skip a block back, do five sideways anvils again, then five netherite blocks above it. And then same as before, we're going to put a stone button on the side of all five netherite, and then a row of stone buttons down this side. Then we put five anvils on top of it. Then we'll crouch back here again and do two sideways end rods. Then a two by two of smooth stone. Up here a brewing stand and a hopper. Then we're going to skip one block back behind this. And we're going to do this T shape of smooth stone blocks. Then we're going to put a hopper here and here. A brewing stand on the top middle. And then up here above each hopper we're going to put polish deep slate wall on either side of the top. Then down in this corner at the back we're going to put an end portal and over here close the trap door. Now the interior is done and we can come back outside. So there we have it folks. We've completed our Chicago Northwestern E8 locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. And like I said make sure you leave plenty of room on the track behind it because we will be building the passenger cars for this train in a future video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget 
to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.